Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start with Laplace transform. So before we start with the definition or the uh, elementary Laplace transform of few functions, let me tell you some of the very interesting applications of Laplace transform. So a simple Laplace transform is conducted while sending signals over any two-way communication. It may be a frequency modulation that is FM. It may be an amplitude modification. It may be a two-way radio set. It may be a cell phones. We are calling a friend to, uh, we are making a call to one friend and whatever conversation is going on, there is a application of Laplace transform. These days in the digital era, we uh, do exchange of files through share it, WhatsApp, Facebook, etc. All these includes the application of Laplace transform. So for the explanation, let me tell you how these things are getting transferred a, by means of this Laplace transform. So when an information is sent or a medium such as cellular phones, they are first converted into time domain, time varying wave. Then it is superimposed with the medium. In this way, the pro information propagates, right? Now at the receiver end, to convert the information being sent, the medium waves time functions are converted into frequency function or the frequency domain. This is the explanation that uh, one can have in order to get the more clear idea about the application of Laplace transform. The other application of Laplace transform are it is used in solving PDs. It is a simple way of converting uh, a function in one domain to a function in another domain. The third one is it is extensively used in electrical engineering and uh, there are so many applications uh, this Laplace transformation have. So with this numerous applications and its importance you will very soon recognize. Okay, let's start with the definition of Laplace transform. Okay, so the domain of definition for this Laplace transform is actually from minus infinity to infinity, but we are going to define it for the domain 0 to infinity. Okay, so let me start with the definition of this definition. So let f of t be a function, let f of t be a function defined, define for define for all values define for all values of t greater than equal to zero what does it mean t greater than equal to zero means t can take values zero to infinity so what is my domain zero to infinity closed interval okay that is that is for 0 to infinity okay this is then Laplace transform then Laplace transform of f of t f of t is defined is is defined as is defined as Laplace transform of f of t is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t dt into f of t dt and we denote it by f of s s is greater than 0. This L 
is a Laplacian operator or Laplacian or Laplacian operator this S is a parameter so whatever answer we are going to or whatever result we are going to find here at this is in terms of the parameter S okay the domain 0 to infinity and this F is the notation of Laplace transform of F of T is F of S okay so you can see that uh, it is a way of uh, converting a function in one domain to a function of another domain so for function of t and the function of s okay time to say frequency domain clear so this is the definition of laplace transform now we have certain uh, elementary laplace transform so let us see what these uh, uh, elementary laplace transforms are so let me write it Elementary, elementary Laplace transform of some function of some functions. Okay, so let me find out the let me just state all these Laplace transform so the very first one is Laplace transform of 1 so what is Laplace transform of 1 1 by s s should be greater than 0 otherwise this is not defined second one Laplace transform of t what is Laplace transform of t it is 1 by s square s is greater than 0 then Laplace transform of t power n what is Laplace transform of t power n now here there are two cases for n for n to be integer for n to be integer it is n factorial upon s power n plus 1 okay s should be greater than 0 and n is integer okay and the second answer to this is in terms of gamma when this n is a fraction okay so it is given by gamma n plus 1 upon s power n plus 1 of course s greater than 0 and n belongs to fraction that is rational numbers okay of the form p by q q not equal to 0 so these are the two next laplace transform of e to the power minus 80 okay so what is laplace transform of e to the power minus 80 it is 1 upon s plus a okay next is next is laplace transform of e power 80 so this is 1 upon s minus a okay then laplace transform of sin 80 what is Laplace transform of sin 80? It is a upon a square plus a square. 7. Laplace transform of cosine of 80. S upon a square plus a square. Okay. Then we have some more Laplace transform. So let me write it here. Number 8. So number 8 is Laplace transform of sin h of 80 what does it this h stands for hyperbolic function okay so this is a upon a square minus a square okay it should be 
greater than mod of a and the last one that is the ninth one is Laplace transform of cos h of a t which is s upon a square minus a square of course s should be greater than mod of a okay so these are the elementary Laplace transform we have okay so we will uh, going to prove it one by one for the very uh, beginning in the very beginning I'm going to uh, prove the uh, first second and third and then from four and five any one I will prove six to seven one I will prove and eight to nine one I will prove and rest of the remaining three you have to prove on your own okay so uh, this is what we have the very uh, introductory lecture on Laplace transform uh, you might uh, find it uh, very easy because it's just a mechanical thing okay so we'll in the very next lecture we'll take the proofs of uh, these uh, elementary Laplace transform and then we will continue with the properties okay so thank you for watching this learning video and happy learning Thank you.